This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. But let's mention someone else who's making some news that maybe didn't hit quite as big. Uh, Half Thor. Oh, I can't pronounce that last name. Either way, the giant from the Game of Thrones is someone the company's interested in. He actually spent a week training at the performance center. So he was at least trying to give it a shot. According to Meltzer, he would say one person who was watching his training closely told me it just didn't seem like he had his heart into it. He was shown sitting next to Stephanie McMahon at the NXT special. He's six foot nine and 400 pounds and only 26 years old. He grew up a basketball player who played center in Iceland's pro league, but he blew out his knee and then he started moving to strongman competitions. And he starts winning even after only a few years of training. He placed sixth in 2011 and then third in both 12 and 13. He got second in 14 and he started Game of Thrones in uh, 2013 and he became a big star after that. I mean, he's got a 770 pound squat, a 510 bench press. This feels like the type of guy that wrestling promoters worldwide would have salivated over a few years prior to this or a few generations prior to this, rather. And now for whatever reason, it doesn't really work out, but man, this feels like something Vince McMahon would have been wringing his hands about, wouldn't it? Yeah, of course. I mean, the big body guys, you know, that's what got his attention. His being, oh, uh, you know, Vince and, uh, sad part is, you know, what the fit families of the world and myself and and different guys that understand how valuable a team like the shield would be. They look at a guy like that and they go, yeah, he's super strong. He's super tall. He's super big. Now we get to that part where he has to fall down. Right. And can this guy fall down and get back up? Can he even fall down? As silly as that may sound, Conrad, taking a crisp bump in that ring off of a piece of offense may appear to the naked eye to just be trivial. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Right. And that, and that's, it's a double edged sword for these guys that size, because they're being told every day of their life, Hey, no matter what you do, work like a big guy, work like a big guy. Well, that's hard to understand if you're not in this business, you know, to me, working like a big guy is like Kane or undertaker. It's, it's super strong, super explosive, super powerful, but also super mobile. And you move like an athlete and you get up and down like an athlete and your offense is explosive. It doesn't mean you walk around like Godzilla and just wobble and, and stagger. Our audience is not going to accept that anymore and they're not going to pay to see it. And I would think that guy would have fit in one of those cases. You know, I don't know how athletic he was being super strong in the weight room. Doesn't necessarily make you athletic for what we do, which is a combination of a lot of things. Um, and like I said, I mean, I saw the guy once or twice, maybe max stage. I never saw him in the ring. So I don't know what his potential was, but sounds like he caught a hell of a break on that uh, TV show and good for him. Yeah, and he would go on to win World's Strongest Man. He he finished first in 2018. So he had some other great finishes, but he won it all in 2018. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.